Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to invoke Salesforce record triggered flow during approval process. Important thing to note is whenever a record is approved, rejected or recalled, it won't trigger any automations like Apex trigger or record triggered flow. In order to invoke a record triggered flow, we have to make use of a field update and update the record after final approval action, final rejection action, final recall action and also during the approval steps if you are having multiple approval steps. I have created a custom object for this demo. In my custom object called employee detail, I have two custom fields, approval waiting on. So this is the field which I will populate and, uh, and also I will make it as null if there are no up, uh, active approval. So if I submit a record for approval and then if it goes to user EA, then approval waiting on will be populated as user A. Next I created a checkbox field called reevaluate approval. This field will be set it as true whenever we have to reevaluate the approval process and then we have to repopulate approval waiting on field value. So this is the field update. It is uh, used in employee approval. We are going to see that it will set re-evaluate approval checkbox field value as true. So this is the field update. In the approval process, during the approval uh, initial submission, uh, I don't have many steps. So I'm not going to use that particular field in this approval steps. But if you have multiple steps, if it is a multi-steps, uh, sorry, multi-step approval process, then you have to use it in approval and rejection action except for the last uh, uh, approval step because uh, in the last step based on the final approval or final rejection actions or based on the recall actions it will call the field update. So in final approval, final rejection and in final recall I am calling the same field update which will set the re-evaluate uh, uh, workflow checkbox to true. And uh, I created a record record flow which will run after save. I will tell you why I'm using after save. So this is the flow. Whenever a record is submitted for approval, it will fire initial submission action which will set the re-evaluate to true. If I have a synchronous transaction, the approval steps would have not been fired. So it will go and set the approval waiting on as empty and then it will go and execute the approval steps. So that is one main reason I don't want to achieve this using uh, uh, synchronous uh, path. So I have made use of asynchronous path. In the asynchronous path, first I am fetching process instance record where target object ID equal to the current record ID and status is pending. Once this is done, I am fetching approval request record where process instance ID equal to the fetched process instance record ID. So I'm getting the process instance ID from the previous get records. In the decision, I'm making sure that uh, the process instance is not null. If it is null, it will go to the default outcome. Next time, same way I'm checking whether the approval request record is not null. If it is not null, I am checking 
the actor id on the approval request the actor id can be a user or it can also be a queue so first i am checking whether it is a user next i am checking whether it is a queue if it is a queue it will start with 00g if it is an user it will start with 005 and finally i am making use of a variable called actor name so this will set the user name if it is uh, an user on which the appro approval process is waiting or it will set the actor name as the queue name if it is waiting on the users part of the queue next i am updating the record with the approval waiting on uh, with the actor name if there are no active approval uh, uh, approvers then the actor name will be null so by default it will set the waiting on to null if there are no uh, pending approvals next it will set the reevaluate approval to false so that when the next process kicks in it will again try to go and find the current approver and then it will update the approval waiting on field let's see this in action i am going to create a simple uh, record so i am going to set it as 19 in line number 6 test line 1 So now I have created a, a employee record. I'm going to submit it for approval. Now it uh, populated waiting on employee approvers because it is waiting on employee approvers. If I approve it, now the waiting on approval is blank because it is currently not waiting on any. approval status was submitted so it populated uh, waiting on approval this particular user uh, one user part of this approved it so the user is admin user so it uh, cleared the value on approval on waiting I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.